Hey guys, how you doing? It's Fernando here with another uh, video, and uh, this is gonna be a little something I'm gonna be doing a little series of videos I'm gonna be making that are gonna be uh, entitled First Ferns Gaming in History." First gaming history, actually, to be uh, more accurate. So basically, what I'm gonna be doing is going over games that I played during my youth, uh, beginning with the very first game I played and going uh, over the years, and uh, every game that influenced my uh, love for gaming. And starting off with the very first game that I ever played, which was this game, Popeye. Uh, first game I ever remember playing. Now this game was on the first system that I ever owned, which was the ColecoVision, which was bought to me by my father in 1984, when I was a wee lad at four years old. Um, this game came. I, this game uh, was bought with the ColecoVision, and then later on I got a, a second game, which are the only two games that I owned on this system, which was Donkey Kong. And funny enough, those two games are actually connected because they're both made by Nintendo. Um, and uh, the the person who made Popeye is also the creator of Mario, Shigeru Miyamoto. And actually, uh, Miyamoto wanted to make uh, Popeye first. He actually had to build, uh, he built Donkey Kong with the intention of uh, Donkey Kong being Popeye. So in that in that game, um, like Donkey Kong was supposed to be Brutus, uh, Popeye was supposed to be Mario, and um, Pauline was supposed to be Olive Oil. But since he never acquired the rights to Popeye, he wasn't able to make that game, so instead he made Donkey Kong. Which I think was a was a good choice because Donkey Kong went on to be a major success, and Popeye wasn't that bad either. I mean, I I, I remember like I said, I owned this game first, so that's why I played this first, and then I got Donkey Kong, which is weird because they came out, <laughs> the the Popeye came out after Donkey Kong a year later. Um, so what else? Oh, so this game's uh, it's pretty difficult actually because uh, this game's a quarter muncher. Like this is the arcade version. The home versions were a little easier. Um, and they, but they weren't as pretty though. I mean, this game looks really good for 1982. Um, the home consoles unfortunately weren't that good. I mean, I know the Atari version looks like crap. The ColecoVision one isn't actually that bad. It actually looked decent. But uh, the arcade one obviously is the best looking one. So let's try a couple levels. Let's see how I do. Because uh, I haven't played this game in forever. And like I said, the arcade can be brutally difficult. So let's see how I do. Now the object of this game is uh, you, you're going to get collectibles from olive oil, which is going to start, in this stage you throw hearts, and you're supposed to collect a bunch of them to fill up your house. Uh, you have to avoid Brutus, who's uh, ridiculously aggressive in this game, I mean he goes after you a lot. Uh, he'll jump off the stage, he'll throw bottles at you, and then also uh, uh, the hag, which there she is, also makes an appearance in this game, does the same thing, will throw bottles from the side. And there's, there's Brutus now. You can punch the bottles, but you can't punch Brutus unless you eat the spinach. Yeah, it's better to go. Yeah, because he's either gonna try to reach you or he's gonna try to jump off the stage. You could eat the spinach, but I'm gonna hold off a little bit on it until I actually really need it. Right now, I'm doing decently well. Oh shit! The hags! Oh, there! Oh, there's a problem. That's when the difficulty starts. When they start ganging up on you. Like I saw, he was jumping, and I was I freaked out, and then I saw I didn't pay attention to the hag throwing the bottles at me. So that's where the game's gonna get you. It's gonna try to tag team you between the Hag and Brutus. And later on, they add a Vulture to the game where a Vulture starts chasing you around too, so it gets even more difficult. Actually, I'm doing decently well here. I got one more life after this, so let's see how I do. It's just about avoiding Brutus and avoiding the Hag. This will be a good time to get the spinach. Not kick his ass. There you go. That gives me a couple of seconds to get the hearts that are on the stage. I see they're frozen and they're frozen, so I can get them easily. And uh, Brutus won't pop up until after I'm done with my spinach power. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, oh I got stuck on the stairs. Damn it! All right, one more life. Let's see how I do here. Come on, Brutus, come this way. Come this way. There you go. Oh crap. No, can't go that way. See, and also when the hearts hit the water, I only have a certain amount of time before the hearts drown. Oh, here comes Brutus. Yeah, there we go. Now I got now I got two hearts down there. Ah, stupid hag. Picked the worst time to get him after me. I was almost done too. Two hearts away. See, like I said, the heart, the hag shows up at the worst times too. When you're almost about to get something, she'll show up and start throwing bottles at you. And sometimes she'll not throw one; she'll throw like three or four. And then Brutus starts throwing bottles at you. You're just you're just punching. Hopefully, you're hoping to hit something, but eventually those bottles will catch up to you. So let's see how I do on this one. 
Hopefully I do a little better. Pretty close to last time. Did better than I thought I was gonna do. Ah, damn hag. Always hold off on getting the spinach until you really need it. Like when there are a bunch of hearts on the stage, that's probably like the best time to get it. Ah, I didn't get that one. I'm gonna have to go down. Come on. No, can't go that way. Here's the problem, if you're two floors down, Brutus will do that, he'll jump. And the music changes anytime he's threatening. See that, that damn hag. Stop, stop following me. That's probably a good time to get the spinach actually. Let's kick his ass. Alright, this will give me time to get some of the collectibles. Yeah, hurt because he's gonna come up right there. Alright, I got what? Five more hearts to go? One, two, th oh, I missed it. Oh, I did punch. Damn it. Alright, three hearts. I should be able to get it with this life. I oh, punch is a little laggy, but I, I got it this time. I'll get it this time. I don't get another spinach stone, unfortunately, so I gotta be careful. Ah, oh, again. I didn't punch. One more heart, though. I'll do it. I'll do it. I got one more heart to go. This shouldn't be difficult. Let me just see where that heart goes. Come on, Brutus. I got it. There we go. Yeah, that was... That's a lot harder than I remember. Oh, this one... This stage, I remember. The, what's his name? Uh, I forgot the baby's name. And I forgot... <laughs> I forgot the guy who eats the hamburger. I just remember he always... He'll pay you on Tuesday. That's all I remember. And this stage, you're collecting um, notes. Like music notes. Why? I have no idea, but that's what you're collecting. Oh, because she's playing a harp. Now I see why. Oh, wow. That was faster than the last stage. Damn. Well, at least I got to the second stage, which is better than I thought I was going to get. So, yeah, that's basically... that was. This is the first game I ever played. I remember playing this a lot because I only had this game and Donkey Kong. So, I, whenever I got bored of one, that's when I played the heck out of the other one. And then when I got bored of that one, I would come back to this one, so... That was Popeye for you guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be making a series of these videos just to show off uh, all the games that I used to play back in the day. Like all, a bunch of retro games. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you soon. Take care. Next game will be Donkey Kong, which is the next game that I, that I ever owned. So thank you for watching. Take care. Have a good one.